Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Brandon Wynn and this is Critical Failure. So we are on, I believe, the uh, Ogre Chain Brute, but I want to make sure, yeah, the Ogre Chain Brute. Uh, I don't think this one has a picture either, which is sad because it looks like the Howita does, but the Chain Brute does not. But uh, I'm hoping to do three videos today of some sort. Uh, I'm going to talk to my brother about starting to write for his character uh, once I get some of this paper to, uh, together for him. So things should be looking good for that. Uh, but let's get straight into the Ogre Chain Brute, why don't we? The Ogre Chain Brute. An Ogre Chain Brute wields a great spiked chain. It swings this chain with both hands in a wide circle around itself to knock foes off their feet. If, alternatively, it can swing the chain in a crushing overhead smash that nearly that's nearly impossible to block or deflect. I'm imagining this thing being kind of like in uh, Shadow of War, the uh, War Chain, I think it's called. I'm not 100% sure. I've just started playing the game. Basically, unless you dodge it, they can swing it at you, impale you, and then drag you in for them to continue to attack. That's what it is. So, I'm thinking it could be similar to that. Uh, but let's get straight into the actual stats because there's no other lore on it. The Ogre Chain Brute is a large giant, chaotic evil, average AC of 11, hide armor, hit point average of 59, 7 d 10 plus 21, and a speed of 40 feet. It's a strength of 19, plus 4, dexterity of 8, minus 1, constitution of 16, plus 3, intelligence of 5, minus 3, and of wisdom and charisma of 7, minus 2. Senses are dark vision up to 60 feet and a passive perception of 8. Languages are common in giant because I figured they would just know giant, but apparently they know basic common. And it's a challenge rating 3, 700 experience points. And this one's got 3 actions. Uh, one is its fist, melee weapon attack, plus 6 to hit, reach of 5 feet, 1 target only, 9 average, 2d4 plus 4 bludgeoning damage. Chain sweep, the ogre swings its chain and every creature within 10 feet of it must make a DC 14 dexterity saving throw. On a failed save, a creature takes 8 average, 1d8 plus 4 bludgeoning damage and is knocked prone. On a successful save, the creature takes half as much damage and is not knocked prone. And then it's chain smash one where it does it overhead. It's uh, on a d6 roll of 6, it recharges. On a melee weapon attack, it's a plus 6 to hit. Reach a 10 feet, 1 target only. Average 13, 2d8 plus 4 bludgeoning damage. And the target must succeed on a dc14 constitution saving throw or be knocked unconscious for 1 minute. The unconscious target repeats a saving throw. If it takes damage at the end of its each of its turns, ending the effect on itself on a success. So, seems like this creature... Uh, that is knocked unconscious won't repeat a saving throw unless it is damaged. So that is actually what I'm reading That's something that I would have actually stated from the get-go. So that's actually I'm glad that they Thought ahead on that one to do similar to what I would do uh, some optional things uh, just based off of the The strength and the size of the uh, Ogres I would say make it 3d4 for the punch, so it's 3d4 plus 3, that's what I would do for the fist attack. Uh, of course it has its chain, I would do like a grapple type of thing, like similar to uh, Shadow of War, to where he'll throw it in a circle and try to lasso something, you can call it the ability lasso for all I care. And you have to make a DC 15 uh, dexterity saving throw, or be grappled and pulled 10 feet per round, or yeah, I would say 10 feet per round towards the uh, the ogre chain brute until you are on him and you're considered grappled and have disadvantage on uh, breaking through once grappled, which uh, the brute will not be able to use his chain to attack anymore past that. So he is just holding you and pulling you and he has to use his action to pull you. So... It doesn't say that he gets multi-action, so he can only do one of these abilities at a time. So he either pulls you, or he's going to punch someone. And then you stay at that, that distance for that uh, that long. Uh, and I kind of see these guys going, you know, behind the, uh, the battering ram. 
So I see the battering rams going first, ignoring a lot of the damage just to break the structures, and these guys just swinging their chains, uh, damaging as much as they can, walking straight through. That's how I imagine it. So, uh, I'm trying to think of what else they can do. Uh, they can do like a chained fist attack so like they just wrap it around their hands and then go for a punch to make the bludgeoning damage a little bit different so you can make that the uh chained fist attack because i've done similar uh and it does not feel good but you can do that yeah uh, make it a melee weapon attack same thing plus six to hit reach of wow i just read the fist and it doesn't even say that it has a reach it just says reach no, nothing and then feet so I would say it would probably have a 10 foot reach or a 5 foot reach no 10 foot because it's a large let me see this one no the mace is 5 feet for the howdah so 5 feet for the fist because this one doesn't say anything so 5 feet for the fist uh, and make it 2d8 bludgeoning damage plus 4 so when he punches he hits with the metal piece of all the chain so that's what he's doing so that's what I would put for the uh, chain brute because it seems like they're extremely adapt adept at using it so that's what I would do this howda just looks terrifying but uh thank you guys for watching uh, sorry I just got a message uh, Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe as I bring you guys uh, more D&D content in the future. We are still trying to hit 50 by the end of the uh, year. Hit that bell notification button as I do bring you more content. And uh, leave a comment down below on what you guys would like to see us do. Thank you guys. See you in the next video.